Hey guys, it's Marissa, your Usborne Book Lady here, and I just got back from our annual convention a few days ago, and I would like to share with you some of our new titles that we got at convention, just for attending. I am so excited about our new titles this season. Uh, I say that every time, but I mean it every time. They get better every single time we have new titles come out. All right, so this is our Osborne Start to Cook, and this is actually a cookbook designed for kids. So there's the index. You can see what's in it. I mean, it's got breads and pastries and things with yeast in it. It's, it's pretty amazing. Um, so it starts with a little introduction about how to use the book. It talks about substitutions. It talks about dried fruit and things like that. And then as you can see, it's got sections for every type of food here, just like a normal big person cookbook. So it's got fruits and vegetables, dairy, eggs, pasta and potatoes, meat and fish, rice and beans, bread and pastry, cookies and cake. And I'll just open up to a random page here. Well, look, like, look at this. This is making ice cream. It's got, it's got making homemade pasta. It's got a lot of really great things. So this is the start to cook. I really love it. This is how to tuck in your sleepy lion. And this is a um, part of a four book series um, that is designed for toddler age kids. Um, this one is like, you know, the bedtime struggle. And then there's Snappy Croc, which is about teeth brushing. I'll just show you the back of the book. Cheeky Monkey, which is about eating. And uh, the little dinosaur one is about taking a bath. And they are just perfectly developmentally appropriate. They have adorable text, adorable illustrations, and they're just really sweet. Uh, we have an occupational therapist on our team, and she loves these books. Astronaut Academy is super awesome. This is, um, it's got all sorts of cool activities and stuff for kids. And it walks them through as if they were actually entering an astronaut academy. And they get all these different skills that they have to learn. There are games and activities and experiments. Like this, this activity is supposed to simulate space docking, which is really cool. There's um, a pop out and piece together um, rocket. It's just, it's really, really neat. Astronaut Academy. And I've been told that that's a series, and the next one in the series is going to be Architect Academy. This is the Ella Diaries. If you have a child that likes um, dork diaries, or diar Diary of a Wimpy Kid to some extent, this is a girl main character, but this is very similar to Dork Diaries, which is like the girl counterpart to Diary of a Wimpy Kid. So this is Ella Diaries. It's like it's written like it's an actual um, diary, you know. So it's got scribbles in it and drawings and things like that. It's really fun. Cordelia. This is our new book from Michelle Nelson Schmidt, who wrote Bob is a Unicorn and the What If Monster and um, Dogs, Dogs and Cats, Cats. And this is adorable. It's about a little girl who could fly until someone told her that she couldn't fly. And she has to remember how to fly. It's a beautiful story. Press Out Paper Dolls. If you are familiar with our Press Out Paper Town, we have a new one, the Press Out Paper Farm. And then this one is Paper Dolls, which I love. So it's got four, four dolls. And so this is what the dolls look like. I love that they're not, they're, um, you know, multi-ethnic. And it's got over 50 outfits for the dolls to wear. Just show you an example. And then I love that the book has these fold out pages on both sides that are scenes that you can use with your paper dolls. And then finally, we have two new Shine a Light books. This is The Human Body, and we also have Shine a Light Animal Can Camouflage. And this is so cool. I didn't get my light ready for you. But for those of you that are familiar with these, you shine a light behind the page and it reveals a hidden picture. So I would shine a light from this side. And this says, um, air travels through the body. It is carried by the blood. How does the blood move through the body? And then you would shine a light behind it and it would reveal this picture, which shows the circulatory system. These books are absolutely brilliant. And it's not, I can't show you, it's not gonna work on it with this lighting. 
Um, but I do have some other videos that I filmed that I was intentionally backlit so that you could see the pictures better. Um, so those are our new titles and I'm super excited about them and I hope you are too. These will be available starting July 1st and you can find them all at www.booksbymarissa.com. And if you like this video, please like my YouTube channel, find me on Facebook, facebook.com slash booksbymarissa and join my VIP page. Thanks so much and have a great day. Bye-bye.